Hello, welcome to Simply Learn Programming. I am Kapil. In this Android tutorial, we will learn to store the data into SQLite database, then search this data and modify this data using Android Studio. For that, first we will see what is SQLite database. SQLite database is built into every Android device. SQLite database is a base class and which provides some inbuilt methods that methods are open, close method, insert, update and delete method. EXEC SQL is the method which is used to execute all SQL statements. Now SQL statements means SQL queries like insert, update, delete and select. The default path of the SQL database where it is saved that is data, data, app name, databases, file name. Now we will take an example. Uh, in this example, we store username, mail id and age. So in Android Studio, I created this design layout. In this design layout, added plain text view, four plain text view, first plain text view for search the data or modify the data, then name, username, then next plain text for mail id and then next plain text for store the age. Five button controls for save the data, update data, delete, select all and particular uh, select record. Now here is the XML code that is generated. Now in mainactivity.java, I typed a complete code and I will explain complete code step by step. First, edit text is the class for plain text widget and four variables. Then SQLite database is the class and its object name is SQLite TV. Then button class and five variables for five buttons. Then string and four variables, four string variables, name, mail id, age and search. Then in onCreate method, first created database. So for create database, SQLite DB is the object name is equal to open or create database method and in this method pass the three parameters. First database name in double quote that is employee DB comma Second parameter is context dot mode underscore private comma null. Third parameter is null. Now next create a table. So for create table again SQLite DB object name dot exe CSQL method. In this method create table statement for SQLite. So create table if not exists table name emp registration. Now if not exist means when table is not present then it will only create the table. Then next in bracket first column names. So emp id is the first column name, integer is the data type, primary key which is used to avoid the duplication of record and auto increment is the keyword used to automatically increment the id means we does not need to do any code for that sqlite automatically increment the id then next column name emp name its data type varchar and its size in bracket that is 255 then next column name emp mail data type varchar size 255 and last column name emp age means employee age, data type var care and size is 255. 
now next find view by id method assign for all plain text variables and button variables then type casting done then implemented view on click listener and which implement on click method then for five button variables set on click listener method set in bracket this keyword first code for store the data for that three variables added name mail id and age and three plain text variable assign to these three variables then get text method dot to string and dot trim method means we get the text using get text method that is entered into plain text and which stored into the name mail id and age variables then in next step check the validation in if means if user does not enter name or does not enter mail id or does not enter age then the message will show in toast that is fields cannot be empty all fields are compulsory to fill next in else code to insert the data means insert statement so sqlite db object name dot exe sql method and in this method insert statement or insert sqlite query in double quote insert into table name that is emp registration in brackets column so first column emp name emp mail and comma emp age three column names here so it does not add emp id because it is auto incremented column then values keyword and then in bracket pass name mail id and age three variables concatenate with plus and open close with single quote double quote and double quote single quote and then next the message will displayed in toast that is record save next code for select the data select all data from database so for that cursor is the class its object name c is equal to sql db object name dot raw query method and in double quote select query to select all record from database that is select star from table name then comma null in next step check the validation if the count is equal to equal to 0 then it will show the message in toast that is database is empty means no record present in database then if the record is present then we display the record into string buffer so for that string buffer class buffer object is equal to new string buffer and in while cursor class object name c dot its method move to next so this method move the record to next record or it move the cursor to the next record then buffer object name dot append method and in append method concatenate strings that employee name employee mail employee age and concatenate first c dot get string and index value is 1 so emp name index value 1 emp mail index value 2 and emp age employee age index value is Three. Remember when we use star in select query, then count the index value from zeroth index. And when we use column names in select query, then count the index value from column name, which are used into select query. And next. in toast buffer dot to string means all data will display in toast now next code for select particular record for that search variable string variable is equal to 
edit search dot get text dot to string dot string. Next, check the validation. If user does not enter any name and click on search button, then it will display toast message that is enter employee name. Then next, cursor class object name C is equal to SQL DB dot raw query method and in this method again select star from table name EMP registration select complete record but this time we use where clause in where column name is equal to column value so EMP name is equal to concatenate search variable name means the entered employee name record only display next c dot move to first in cursor move to first record and then all plain text variable dot set text method and in that method cursor object name dot get string method and in get string method index values 1 2 and 3 for emp name emp mail and emp age that means data will shown in plain text view widgets And if the record is not present, then it will show the message data not found. Next code for update the record. So four string variables is equal to four plain text variables with get text method. Then check validation. User must to enter employee name, otherwise it will show validation message. Next, we check entered employee name is present into the database or not using select query. If the employee name is present into the database then it will proceed otherwise it will show the message data not found. And if the record is present then it will proceed for cursor object name dot move to first method then check the validation user must to fill all the fields then in else update statement so sqlite db is the object name dot exec sql method in this method update in double quote update table name set column name is equal to column value so first column name emp name is equal to column value variable name second column name emp mail is equal to mail id variable the third emp age is equal to age variable where emp name column name is equal to search variable means only the entered employee record is updated and next the message in toast that is record modified then next code for delete the record delete the particular record so for that search variable string variable name is equal to edit search dot get text dot to string dot trim next check validation if user does not enter employee name then it will show the validation message then check the user name is present in the database or not if it is not present then it will show the message data not found otherwise it will proceed so cursor object name cursor tell dot move to first and then sqlite db object name dot exec sql method and in this method in double quote delete query so delete query is delete from emp registration where emp name is equal to search variable means only entered employee name will be deleted and then record deleted message will displayed into toast so it is very simple way to store search and modify the data into sqlite database there is another way to store search and modify the data into sqlite database that is using sqlite open helper class so we will learn it in further videos now we run the app app is running first without enter any data 
click on save button then it will show the message fields cannot be empty then enter name a mail id a at the rate test.com then entering age 23 and click on save button so our first record is saved then saving second record name employee name b then changing age it is 25 and then change its mail id to b at the rate test.com then click on save button second record is saved and click on select all and it will show two records then now we search the record so enter employee name ac and when click on select button then it shows the message data not found because ac employee name is not present into the database then enter employee name that is a and click on select button and it will show the employee name a record name a mail id a at the rate test.com and its age 23 then update the record so for update the record change age to 27 and change a at the rate test.com to test.in and click on update button then record modified so employee name a record modified we check this click on select all button so here is employee name a modified test.in and age is 27 now delete record so we delete the record of employee name a record deleted and check by click on select all button so here is only one record present into the database that is employee name b so that's it for this tutorial if you have any suggestions or questions then comment down below if you like this video then please like and subscribe to this channel to get more videos thank you